images up in Lightroom. So I'm going to make a new folder and name it 03 Lightroom and then open up Lightroom, create a new catalog. And then I'll go to my folder with the images, click on the Lightroom folder. And then I'm going to name the catalog the same name as the main folder. So 16, 11, 15, fashion, jasmine, test. So now we're going to go ahead and import all the photos into our catalog. I'm just going to click on selects, which has all the photos that we've given the final approval for and press import. So the first thing that I like to do when I open up a new shoot in Lightroom to edit it is apply a bunch of presets to my favorite image of the shoot, which is this one in this case. So I just sort of go through and click on a few different presets to see what they look like and get a feel for what I think I want the final images to look like. Um, in this case, I actually already edited this image for a sneak peek on Instagram, so I do know which preset I want to apply to it. I'm actually going to be applying my new Yosemite preset, which isn't out just yet, but it will be really, really soon. <laughs> and I'm really excited about it because I feel like it adds some really beautiful tones to your images with a nice little film like finishing effect to it. So this is the preset without any tweaking done to it so far. So I'm going to adjust the exposure, temperature and tint on all the photos that I'm editing. For this photo I need to bring down the exposure a little bit so a skin tone's not too overexposed and I'm going to bring down the, the tint because the photo is quite purple and I want it to look a little bit more realistic. And I'm also going to bring down the temperature a little bit too. I do like the way the image looks a bit warmer overall with the temperature a bit higher. However, I think her skin tone is looking a little bit orange. So I'm just going to bring down the saturation on orange until I'm happy with what it looks like just there and a little bit more contrast. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that image looks with the preset. I think it just works perfectly. I've got a few um, graduated filters on <clears throat> in the preset just to darken the image down here a little bit and bring more attention up to the portrait part of the photo instead of having a lot of light down here at the, on the bottom of the floor. But in the before and afters you can really see how that works. It just shifts your attention from the bottom of the photo to the top. So I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit the rest of the photos with the same preset and once again just editing um, while well, tweaking little things like temperature, tint and exposure on all the images. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just fast forward through the process. part of the shoot. I feel like it's a lot different compared to the first half of the shoot which is a little bit more moody and I feel like the photos suit a more desaturated sort of blue tone to them. Um, however when we get to the beach it was quite sunny and warm so I feel like my photos have turned out a little warmer in colour. So I don't think the preset is sort of working for these images as well as it's working for these images. So I think I'm going to go and find a different preset to use for the rest of the shoot. So I'm just going to go through and click around and see what there is.
when I have a shoot that I want to use two different presets for, I definitely like to try and keep it still matching as best as I can. So I don't want it to look like two totally different shoots, but I do want to give some photos a little bit of a different feel compared to the first half of the shoot that we did. So I'm just going to fast forward through that um, and you'll see me once again when I select a preset um, then all I do is tweak the temperature, tint and exposure until the preset looks right for the photo that I'm working on. so I thought it would have been better to split it up into two different videos. I hope you learnt something or just enjoyed watching my process. This is pretty much what I do for every single photo shoot. Sometimes things vary very slightly but yeah this is mostly just my process. Um, yeah let me know if you have any comments or questions about what I do. I'm more than happy to answer them in the comment section and thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye!